Hello folks and welcome to App Screencast. In this video I just want to go over how I manage my apps in iTunes um, for my iPod, my iPad, etc. Um, maybe you'll get some tips from it. So let's get straight into the video. So I've just plugged my iPhone into my computer and at the minute I'm on the actual apps tab here where I can basically view all the applications on my iPhone which is quite useful because from here you can grab apps and rearrange them on your um, iPhone and so on. If you wish, you can go command, hold command down and click various apps and you can actually move more than one app at a time. So it's actually a really useful way of sorting your apps actually on your iPhone or iPad. Also, what you can do, and I don't know if a lot of people do this, but you can have automatically sync new apps ticked. So when you download um, new applications from the, the, app, the App Store on the Mac, they automatically install on your iPhone or iPad or iPod. Um, but personally I don't have that ticked and a couple of reasons I don't have it ticked one being I own an iPad and if I have it ticked on the iPad basically the iPhone apps will automatically install onto the iPad which I hate to do because the iPhone apps are not really um, designed for the iPad so I hate to have them applications installed on my iPad so that's one reason I don't have it ticked also is just because I've downloaded loads of applications on my uh, Mac it doesn't mean I necessarily want them automatically syncing over straight away so I have it unticked and I prefer it that way, I find it a lot easier um, I prefer to manually manage the apps as it were now what you can do on this menu which I find quite useful is you can sort it by various categories and um, if you've got an iPad um, plugged in you can sort by only iPad apps which is really useful but also what you can do is sort by size and as you can see it, it puts the um, the bigger apps at the top and the smaller apps towards the bottom and what I can do is I can see which apps are taking up the most room on my um, iDevice so for example Tom Clancy Rainbow Six is taking up the most room and I can untick it and already I've saved myself a lot of space down at the bottom so it frees up a lot of space on my uh, iPhone so I find that a really useful way of sorting apps out but apart from that apart from them um, things I've just gone over now, that's only useful points to this actual screen and I personally don't like to um, um, use this screen too often and I'll show you actually the way I actually manage my apps and I actually do it by going to the apps panel here on the sidebar so I go to apps in my library and these are all the apps on my computer and it'll probably look like something like this on your screen I assume you'll have it in this sort of like category sort of way but I find the best way to sort them is by list view and what I then do is along top is I go along this top bar I go control click and I make sure everything's unticked apart from size, purchase date and kind. And what I can do then is I make sure these are nice and big so I can see them. Like so. So make sure they're nice and big so I can read all the categories and stuff. And what I have is a sort by date. At the top, I've got my uh, most re recent purchases, and down the bottom, I've got my um, older apps, what I've downloaded. I also have the kind, which gives me tells me if they're an iPhone app or an iPad app, and also size, which is quite useful. Now, you might be thinking you can sort this out, sort apps out in this screen by date, but actually you can't because it actually just shows you which are the newest, newer released apps and which are the older released apps in the App Store it doesn't actually show you your most recent purchases which is pretty bad because this is really unuseful in my eyes so going back to the apps up, up to, on the sidebar what I then do is I look through all the apps and I look at the ones I want and I will then go command click and I say well this is an iPhone app this is this is that's not so I won't click it so it's command click every time command click command click Command kick. And what then I do is I just grab them, drag them, and drop them over to the iPhone. And then I've just dragged and dropped all my um, latest latest downloaded apps. And I find that a really easy way of managing my apps, sorting my apps out. So that's the way I would definitely recommend uh, managing your apps if you've got a lot of um, iPhones or iPods or iPads um, synced to your current Mac. So hopefully you understood what I was trying to explain there. Um, got quite complicated there towards the end, so I'm sorry about that. But yeah, thanks for watching this video. If you want to follow me on Twitter, you can at twitter.com slash appscreencast. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.